Hey everyone. Uh, so I got tagged in a YouTube video by Slashers Elite, and um, it's for your five most expensive uh, video games in your collection. I uh, don't really have anything all that expensive. I have a few like older titles that are worth more than what most um, for those systems are. Um, so I'm just going to go with that. I mean, technically, if you want to think about it, I mean, my like brand new PlayStation 4 games are worth more than these, but over all this time, these have increased in value. So um, go up and down all the time. But first one is and a lot of these are actually going to be <laughs> Zelda, but I've got uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, and it's the like the foil card or whatever you want to call those. Um, I think this is worth like forty or something, but that was I think it was the collector's edition um, bundle. And then I've also got the gold cartridge collector's edition of. Zelda Ocarina of Time. I've got the regular one too, which I had when I was younger, um, but I've got both copies. I am a big Zelda fan, and Ocarina of Time was always my favorite. Majora's Mask was actually my sister's favorite, um, but kind of took some getting used to with the, the clock and um, the big moon really kind of freaked me out, so <laughs> I, uh, yeah, prefer Ocarina of Time. This one I got um, brand new at Target um, back when I was a kid, and it was the last one on the shelf, and I've shown this in a video before that I was tagged in, um, but it's Harvest Moon 64. I just uh, looked this up on video game price charting, and it said that it's it's about 55 loose right now, um, which is almost as much as I paid for it brand new. Um, I did keep all my boxes a long time ago for the longest time when I was a kid. And then I just, one day, I think it's because we moved, I decided I don't really need these even though I liked keeping them and they were all in really good condition. My Zelda, everything. Um, I kept all the manuals still, but um, kind of sucks that I did away with those and now that would bring it up to like 75. Um, another one is, it's not really worth that much, but like I said, I don't really have any really like earthbound or um, like Conqueror's Bad Friday or anything, but The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Um, it's pretty pricey for a Super Nintendo game. I think it's like 30 35 or something. Um, so hopefully soon I'll add some more expensive ones to my collection if I find them for cheap. I did. Uh, actually, I skipped out on uh, several months ago, um, I was thinking about going to Goodwill, and somebody beat me to it. Um, and I, I was thinking about going early in the morning, and I knew I should have. And then I saw on our um, local gaming uh, community on Facebook that somebody went there, and they found um, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis on Xbox, which, and it was complete, which was like, it's at least a $90 game, and I missed out on it for five bucks. But that sucks, but oh well. And uh, speaking of expensive, um, this one, I know it's not actually Conquer's Bad Fur Day on uh, Nintendo 64, which is like 70, 75. Um, but this is the kind of like the remastered version that came out on Xbox original. And this one is still pretty 
difficult to find. Um, every once in a while I'll find it out in the wild, but it's always going up and down in price. This one I happened to get for, oh, I think it was like 15, 20 bucks. Um, but the last time I saw it in a store anywhere, it was actually like 40. Um, but it keeps keeps going up and down and with rare replay out now I don't know if that's going to make the prices go down or if it's just gonna stay really pricey which I'm sure it will stay pricey but I don't know if it might go down like 10 bucks or something but um, other than that I actually I do have like several collectors editions of games um, I have um, Skyward Sword, although my sister has it and she's not in the state, but the one that came with the, the gold Zelda remote, um, and that one she has, and that one's actually pretty pricey. Um, <clears throat> and then, of course, I had like a Skyrim um, bundle with the dragon um, that was... Uh, on PlayStation 3 when it first came out. I really wish I would have been able to get the Pip-Boy for Fallout 4, but I, uh, on day 3, I went out to pre-order it and they were already done. Um, day 2, I think they sold out around here. Which I guess I could have, you know, I could have bought it online and uh, I don't know why I didn't, but now I'm missing out on that because I really wanted a Pip Boy. But um, other than that, I don't really have any other games that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm sure I have something that's worth quite a bit. I just, I don't know where it is or what it is. And I'm, I've got probably about four to five hundred games now um, and I don't really want to go through all of them but um, that's that's everything I've got right now and I'll see you guys later